CM Punk is returning to AEW. Let's talk about Tony Khan's recent announcement and more in today's Wrestling Ramble. So AEW Dynamite for May 24th has wrapped up, and as you're all aware, by now AEW has announced a new show, Collision. It was revealed by Warner Brothers Discovery at their upfronts that they will be adding a new Saturday show to their professional wrestling lineup. AEW confirmed this, and we've been getting little crumbs and tidbits of information here and there, and one of the biggest news stories was this being a show to have CM Punk on it to split the roster to some description between Dynamite and Collision, and it was revealed at the upfronts we'd have certain stars on the show, Samoa Joe, Thunder Rosa, but there was no mention of CM Punk, and no mention of Punk specifically to this point. His name has not been brought up in association with the debut of Collision on June 17th, but on AEW Dynamite, May 24th, AEW President Tony Khan made an announcement, and he said that their debut episode for collision will be at the United Center in Chicago. This led to the crowd chanting CM Punk, and that seems to be a foregone conclusion that Punk is returning to AEW. Punk will be at the debut show for collision at the United Center in Chicago. There's been previous reports recently that the deal is done. Punk is coming back, and I wanted to get into all of that in a second. And of course, there was talk of potentially moving collision to maybe Daly's place in Jacksonville, Florida or to another venue, seeing as though the Punk deal may fall through or may have already fallen through. But after the reports of Punk and AEW coming to terms to debut on Collision, or should I say return on Collision for the show's debut, and then this announcement that it will be in the United Center, I don't know if they're still going to be calling it the second coming, which would obviously implicate CM Punk. But if they do, that's more to it, more assurance that Punk will be there for that show. As it looks like CM Punk is going to be at the AEW Collision show. I wanted to go over the timeline of events because this all happened pretty quickly and over a short span. So going back to May 10th, it was said by Sean Ross Sapp, AEW Collision is set to debut in mid-June and will feature a huge name in CM Punk, but that's hardly it. We're told that there are already major plans and a marquee match tentatively scheduled for the Collision show with CM Punk pushing for a huge match early on in his return. There has been a Chris Jericho program discussed, but Punk had pushed for another return opponent out of the gate. There are already several Saturday dates set to film AEW Collision, but we're told that when necessary, the company may book a venue two days straight and film on Thursdays. And then on May 12th, it was said by the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, someone very familiar with the negotiations of the Collision deal has said that the show would have happened with or without Punk, but absolutely, Warner Brothers Discovery wanted Punk. It was then said by Sean Ross Sapp on May 17th, as of last week, it was believed that there would be a soft roster split for AEW Dynamite and Collision. This would allow talent that didn't get along to work shows when necessary without the likelihood of conflict that we saw a lot of backstage in AEW in 2022. However, instead, we're told that talent are expecting a hard brand split, with the exception of many AEW champions. We've been told that there will be additional exceptions here and there. We have not learned how exactly the split will be determined, if there will be a draft, or how that will work out. However, the working plan as of this week is a firm brand split, with some rare exceptions. Those we've spoken to said that bringing back several previously absent talent was planned out, and they were told it was strategic timing to go along with the new show. In addition to talent that naturally needs more television time, several returning talent look to benefit from this move. It was also reported that the working plan is to film AEW Rampage with Dynamite tapings and ROH with collision tapings. Those that we've spoken to say that there looks like some WCW Nitro influence to early graphics tied to Collision. That same day, it was reported by PW Insider, the belief among those we've spoken with is that Ace Steel was expected to return in conjunction with CM Punk next month, working behind the scenes. However, the story making the way around AEW backstage today at Dynamite is that a decision was made that Steel would not be working backstage at the 
actual collision tapings. As you might imagine, that left Punk and AEW on opposite sides of the discussion, which in turn led to Punk being removed from all promotional material released for the AEW Collision Series today. The next day on May 18th, Ringside News would write, During Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer mentioned that several stars were chosen because of their positive relationship with intended star CM Punk. Despite rumors, Punk's announcement as a part of the show did not materialize. Dave Meltzer indicated that Punk was indeed planned to be featured in the Warner Brothers Discovery upfront, but unforeseen circumstances interfered. Those circumstances involved AEW's unwillingness to let Ace Steel return to work, but they were willing to rehire him. Then on May 19th, this was said about Andrade being ready for AEW Collision. Dave Meltzer said in the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, he could be ready by the launch of the show, and if not, would be ready within a month or so after the launch. Also on May 19th, it was said by PW Insider that if the company and CM Punk get everything back on track, that's still the plan. If not, they will look to have the first episode elsewhere. With only three weeks to fill a venue as of Wednesday, my guess is they would not chance having it in Chicago without Punk because everyone will expect him to appear and assume the entire situation is some sort of work, which as of this week, it was not. So perhaps Jacksonville, Florida at Daly's Place could, and this is speculation on my part, make the most sense. Then May 22nd, it was said by Dave Meltzer on Wrestling Observer Radio, when Ace Steel was rehired, which was many, many weeks ago, I know he was under the impression that his job was to be a producer on Collision and work these Saturday shows. I don't know which words were said by who, but I do know that he has thought that for a while. Was it a misunderstanding? Was it plans changed? I don't know. I know that if he thought that, then Punk thought that, and obviously on Tuesday of last week, Punk was told something different, and that's what led to everything. Everything. That same day, May 22nd, Brad Shepard said this on Allow Me to Apologize, AEW stars will be less frequent on the Comic-Con scene thanks to AEW Collision. So you've got the show on Saturday, in theory, you can't do both. So you lose out on that Comic-Con money if they're booked on Collision. I was told that AEW talent are not happy about that. They're losing money. Why would they be happy about that? I find that very interesting. It was then said on May 23rd by Dave Meltzer of Wrestling Observer Radio, we don't know if CM Punk's coming back or not. I know it's not dead though, at least it wasn't dead on Saturday like he wasn't going to. What if he starts again and quits? That same day, May 23rd, Dave Meltzer added on Wrestling Observer Radio, before the issue started, I think Punk asked for Samoa Joe. That's why it was going to be Samoa Joe. Yeah, that's why it was going to be Samoa Joe. And then that same day, May 23rd, Ringside News said CM Punk and AEW forge ahead with productive conversations. New details have emerged regarding CM Punk's ongoing discussions with AEW. Reports indicate that despite some initial complications, Punk has remained in contact with the company and productive conversations have taken place. While specific details were not disclosed, sources close to Punk believe that he will make an appearance at AEW Collision on June 17th. There were rumors circulating that Punk had been served with legal papers, but according to Fightful Select, the documents sent to Punk were for various contractual purposes rather than legal threats. These papers covered subjects such as speaking about certain topics, disparagement clauses, and ensuring Punk's availability for scheduled TV dates. The intention behind these documents is primarily to protect AEW from potential situations that may arise. Then on May 24th, Steve Carey of Ringside News would note on Twitter, CM Punk pulled out of the AEW collision deal and that caused a lot of noise in the pro wrestling world. We asked around and the overall take within WWE is that CM Punk is toxic and there is also disbelief that he pulled this stunt on Tony Khan. And then May 24th, we found out through social media that CM Punk is working out and looking pretty good when doing so at the gym, as he seems to be gearing up for a return to AEW. Then that same day, May 24th, it was noted by Ryan Frederick of F4W Online. I can't speak for Brian because I don't know what info he's been given, and there's definitely been a lot of different info being passed around with this whole thing. I can only say that based on what I was told at Midnight ET, Punk is good to go for Collision, that he signed an NDA pertaining to Brawl Out, which was described as necessary for him to return, but also a difficult negotiation, but he knew he had to do it, and there's a lot of people he doesn't want to let down, and a couple of other legal documents that were also necessary for him to return that protects AEW in case of another bad situation. There's one thing I'll keep quiet on, because it's nothing major, but this whole thing is basically now him playing ball, because he says he loves AEW, and wants to help 
help the company grow and he knows what will happen if there's another big issue and then that brings us to the same date present day may 24th tony khan aw president is on dynamite and he announces that collision on june 17th will be at the united center in chicago cm punk chants rain down as i mentioned at the start of the video it looks as though cm punk will be there for the debut show of aew collision what do you think about that because like i said from the reports that we've seen and from this announcement that it will be in chicago and i don't think they're going to change the name of the second coming maybe they have and just haven't announced it yet but if it's going to be in chicago regardless of if it's called the second coming or not people are going to be expecting cm punk and based on that reaction they already are so be sure to let me know what you guys think about all this i would love to hear from you because it looks as though it's not official they haven't said his name and maybe they won't maybe they won't say his name it just seems kind of odd that he was going to be mentioned as a part of AEW Collision. Warner Bros. Discovery wanted him for Collision. They planned to announce him at the Warner Bros. Discovery upfronts, but they ended up not doing that because of the issues they were having with working out a deal for him to come back because of the drama with a steel and not wanting him to produce on that show it was a bit of a hang-up but it looks like they have worked things out based on reports and based on the recent announcement from aw president tony khan on dynamite like i said be sure to let me know what you guys think about cm punk returning what do you think about all this that's all i've got and i'll see y'all later